FX Nation, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, guys, what I wanted to do, I wanted to share um, a video that I actually found that describes to you exactly what the market maker trap move is and how market makers can use an entire London session uh, to grab orders and then fake people out. So I hope you enjoy uh, this particular video and I hope that it brings you some value. With that said, guys, let's get started. Let's take a look at this example here uh, for us, and let's play this out. I want you to notice a couple things um, as we watch this. So we come from the bottom all the way to the top, right? And now look what happens when we're here. Do you see that? Do you see basically like how we're just basically moving straight sideways essentially within let's say what is that about a 10 pip candle every candle do you see that and then we finally get this move here go up but look what happens come right back down right back up right back down do you see that whenever you see this happen like this all that is happening here is we're basically collecting contracts Okay, we're just collecting contracts. They're getting trying to get traders into trades. Okay, so they can have money available. All right, but essentially, what all they're doing here is just collecting contracts, right? And so, look what happens here at the very end of our window. Here, we actually get an opportunity, and it's going to come right there. Okay, now. The problem, one of the probably the biggest things that you're you're probably going to have an issue with is the fact that how do you know when they're actually going to take off, right? You don't. You don't know if it's going to be this candle, that candle. You don't know. You really don't, right? What you do know is that you know that what their behavior is doing and they're just collecting contracts. Once they have enough contracts, that's when they'll move up. And get out of there right and so that's what basically what they did the first four hours of this uh, of this London session right and then they finally moved up and they went up and got out of there okay now here's what I want you guys to notice is that this move was about 32 pips the real move that they were going for on this was not this being a type three setup. Okay. They were just collecting contracts here. Okay. For, for to get traders into trades, this right here, this move here is a false move. Okay. The reason that they did this move is because they didn't have enough people convinced going long okay so because they didn't have they didn't get enough people here to go long they're like i'm gonna show you long right and they go ahead and they break yesterday's high and they go up 32 pips once they have enough they reach look look what happens here they they get up to what 70 let's call it 72 700 and they're like look we're not going past 72 700 and sure enough, once they have enough, nine o'clock comes, start of the U.S. session, boom, they drop. They have enough contracts. They've basically sold, right? So people are buying. They're taking the sell on the other side of, of all those orders, right? And so, of course, now they can just drop and drop and drop. Do you get what I'm saying? So, look. That was a good 140 pip drop. And they spent all of London, all the first half of London doing it, setting this move up. You see that? So, one of the key things is this. If you see this happening... And they're doing nothing but straight moving sideways, 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 sideways. They're not going anywhere. Let it go. Let this go. And let them show you what they're actually doing. 
Okay, because when they do this during the London session, and they're just moving sideways, 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 you're going to see that this basically leads to a setup that happens during the U.S. session. Okay, so this behavior here is a big clue that they're just collecting contracts for a move that's happening during the U.S. session. Because they spent literally four hours collecting this stuff through London. Okay, so I wanted to show you this example because some of you might take this trade as a type three and it's really not a type three, but I want to show you so you know exactly what they're doing. All right. All right, guys, real short video. I hope it brought you some value. I hope it brought you better understanding as to how market makers can use an entire London session uh, to grab orders and then uh, do a, a 30 pip move up to trap more traders before making their news. Now also, in that particular video, that huge candle that went down, that was actually news. Okay, so you could see how they used the London session to essentially accumulate orders and then do a false move to the high and then as soon as news comes down, you see what happens, essentially, right? It went straight down. So hope brought you some value, guys. If you like this type of content, Give me a like on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Guys, if you need any more help or you like the content that we provide on this channel, come on over to the FXN Masterclass. It's available right now. What you get essentially is a lifetime membership, a full mentoring course, an advanced course. You get the Blue Summit videos, weekly Q&A sessions every Sunday, uh, group session archives, which that by alone has about 100 hours of content weekly analysis videos, midweek analysis videos, MT4 and MT5 indicators, a customized trading journal so you could actually journal your trades every day, and then a backtesting journal that you can use to backtest and collect all of your data, not to mention a mentoring private chat, guys. So all the information is in the link in the description if you want to join now. We look forward to seeing you there, guys, and take care of yourselves.